the first phase of the plans and then what okay. the broader vision is? What's okay. the long-term vision? So we've talked a little bit about phase one of the project. That's activating the site, getting it open, creating new public space, new public access. Um, that's the bridge down at the and, end. There. And, and the bridge down there. And creating the footpath that leads all the way along the lower loop. The second phase and the long term vision for this site is to actually create a creative industries quarter down here and we want to do quite a few radical things. We want to create a place where creative individuals can actually live and work and stay down here and become active if they're not already, become active members of the wider community. And we're offering, offering space for studio space, we're offering live work moorings, we're going to be creating a dry dock facility where boats can be for the first time a new dry dock in East London that can service large ships. Um, we're going to create an artist's in residence suite where visiting artists can actually come live and work for sort of three month period, work with local schools, local galleries and exhibitions um, and create work here. And the emphasis is very much on attracting people who will take their inspiration from the surrounding area and have a passion about the Lee and want to be able to share that through their work and working with local schools, regeneration agencies, creating public art. Um, and this is for the long term. We've managed to secure a 999 year lease on this enormous site. Uh, and we're here as a charity to actually create a safe haven for this. So long beyond the gentrification and the, the amazing improvements that are going to happen in here, people will actually be able to stay here for the long term. And that sense of stability means that that investment, personal investment in, in the surroundings and the local community can properly flourish.